Hydrogen is a critical component in a new third industrial revolution that's just now beginning to unfold across the world. And let me explain how the fuel cell and hydrogen fit into this larger infrastructure change. There are five pillars to this third industrial revolution. Pillar one is a shift to renewable energies, distributed energies, the sun, the wind, geothermal heat under the ground, tidal waves, small hydro, agricultural and forestry waste. Pillar two, how do we collect this energy? We're going to convert all the buildings in the world, homes, offices and factories, to little micro power plants so everyone can create their own energy. Solar on the roof, wind up the vertical sidewalls, heat from the ground, etc. This will jumpstart construction and create an economic boom for 50 years. Pillar three, how do we store these energies? Because you know the sun isn't always shining and sometimes the wind isn't blowing when you need the electricity. They're intermittent energies. This is where hydrogen comes in for the first time. We use hydrogen as a storage technology to store these energies. Pillar four is where the communication energy revolutions converge to create a nervous system for this new transport. We use off-the-shelf internet technology. We take the power lines, the transmission lines, the electricity grid of the world, and we convert it to an energy internet. We store renewable energies in the form of hydrogen, and then that hydrogen fuels our transport, our cars, our trucks, our buses, our trains, our transport fleet. So we have a zero emission fleet, no carbon emissions, and we can heal the planet, and we can reduce climate change. H2 Mobility will create all sorts of new business arrangements, partnerships, alliances, and networks. And that's already beginning to happen. Daimler energy companies, power and utility companies, the logistics networks are all going to be part of this new third industrial revolution rollout, and at the center will be fuel cell transport. This is not just a shift in transport that we're introducing here. What we're really talking about is hope for the future, allowing us to clean up this planet, reduce the global warming gases, heal this earth, save our fellow species, and preserve this beautiful planet for future generations. So the introduction of this paradigm shift in transport from the internal combustion engine to the fuel cell is one of the great changes in history.